Stability AI just released their new Stable Diffusion 3.5 large model, and they're throwing it up to, to fight against Flux Pro and then also Ideagram 2. All of these are very powerful models. They're all available inside of ZimWriter, my AI writer. Right now, you can use them all to generate social media posts or blog posts in bulk, whatever you want. But I want to take just some time and, and compare these different models, look at their strengths, look at their weaknesses. And this is not an exhaustive test. But what I wanted to do was see how these models do on rendering a person. And we need to go with somebody recognizable. And there's no, no one more recognizable than President Trump. So we'll go with him. And he, he definitely has some interesting features, like he's a bigger guy, he's got uh, the whole spray tan thing going on. So we'll see how the, the AI models handle that. And then also we're going to look at uh, some different scenes from around the world and different backgrounds from around the world uh, that the AI, all the AI models should know about. So I wanted to go with something that all of the AI models should have been trained on. So it's a fair fight, but this is not an exhaustive test, but this should give you some ideas on how these models perform. Stable Diffusion 3 is up top. We have Flux Pro down here and then Ideagram 2 is here. I have 10 different examples and we'll go through, we'll go through each one. So this is of Antelope Canyon. Looks like a fantastic place to visit. You can see the Northern Lights there. Stable Diffusion 3, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, it looks like Donald Trump, forget the weird smirk he's got going on, but yeah, it, it, I think it did a pretty good job at this. It's blended well with the background. I like it. Uh, Flux Pro, um, the hand is phenomenal. All right. A lot of times the weaker models would mess up on hands, but it seems like all of the models are doing well on hands right now, especially Flux Pro, but Flux Pro seems to have more of a weird sheen to his face. Like a, I don't know, it's a, a plasticky feel. And then Ideagram 2, that looks great right there, but it's just not blended well with the background. It's like almost like he's standing in front of a green screen or something, and his eyes do look a little messed up. So there's more pixelization here than, than going on up here. I'm not going to rank these. I'll let you guys figure them out. But if I were going to pick a winner right here, I'd probably pick Stable Diffusion Large right now. So let's go to the next one. This is of Banff National Park in Canada. So Stable Diffusion Large, I think it's too washed out right here. President Trump is just too washed out. The background looks great. It just looks great, but it looks like he's standing in front of a poster or something. Totally washed out. And then also the text on the hat, it says true new noop or something like that. So that's all messed up. Flux Pro, it, it has that plasticky feel again to it. And the text is messed up here. Background looks great though. The, the background looks great. And then Ideagram 2. This one actually, you can see that you can make out Trump up here, but I don't know this. It looks less like Donald Trump, I think, than the other ones. Yeah, I don't think Ideagram 2 is doing that well on, on this particular test right here. How to pick a winner. Uh, you know, honestly, even though this is washed out, this does look goofy right here. And it looks like he's like way overweight. So I'm going to go with Stable Diffusion again. All right, so now we are in the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. I'd love to go there and see if this, if it still looks like this. I sure hope it does. All these coral reefs are being bleached now. This is great. He's underwater, but it doesn't look like he's underwater. Maybe he's standing in front of an aquarium. But that image, that render of him looks phenomenal. I don't know what he's holding over here in this hand, but we'll give him a pass on that. I think one, two, three, four. So he did get six fingers here, but this is a phenomenal photo. Absolutely phenomenal. Flux Pro, this is great. One, two, three, four. We got five fingers. He's wearing a wetsuit. Looks like Donald Trump. That's a great shot right there. Ideagram 2, okay. He's underwater right now. I don't know what is on his chin. Some kind of weird things on his chin. And his, his hair looks the same underwater. Okay. So, I don't know. They all look great. I think Stable Diffusion did a really great job of just a, a phenomenal render of him, but the setting's wrong. Both of these look like he should be in the water or partaking in the scene. Aside from this glitch on his chin, this is a great photo, of a, and you get the reflection right here under the water. But I'm going to say this is the winner. All right, we have no visual abnormalities, and it just looks great. So Flux Pro won this one. Stable Diffusion won the last two. All right, Stable Diffusion. This just looks weird. It's like he's sticking his tongue out or something. Way too washed out. One, two. And his hands, they're all merged together. So 
not a fan right there. And the background does look weird. Like, I don't know. It looks like something ripped out of a magazine that not in a good way. All right, Flux Pro. I think the hands are done a lot better here. One, two, three. They actually look like fingers. Uh, another hand down here looks great. Even when we zoom in, it, it looks pretty good. The background looks realistic. All right, Ideagram 2 down here. I've noticed with Ideagram, when the character, the image is further away, it really just butchers it. So that looks like Chris Farley, in my opinion. Looks like Chris Farley. It looks like he's missing an, a hand, and I don't know what he's holding up over here. But Ideagram 2, I found, does not do well at all when, the peop when people are rendered far away. Although the background looks great, but you do have some blurring in here, so I think this looks more realistic. I'm going to say Flux Pro wins this one. So we have Stable Diffusion 3.5 won twice, and Flux Pro has won twice. All right, we got Stable Diffusion. This is Vice Lakes National Park, Croatia. I'd like to visit there. Man, like, like a, yeah, there's a grotto over there. There's waterfalls. I'd love to visit there. This looks good, although the lighting is weird. It doesn't look like it's blending perfectly, but still, it's a good shot. Got five fingers. No, no real visual abnormalities. This is cool. Okay. Honestly, I would swear that this is a photo right here. That's great. I like, you know, I like the background up here better, but man, this is perfect. This is just freaking perfect right here. And then Ideagram 2. I mean, it looks too Lord of the Rings Hobbit-ish. I don't know if this is really what it looks like, but it, it looks like this is a little bit too fake. And then, you know, we move down here. It looks like Trump's giving us the finger, <laughs> the finger or something. So I don't know. I don't think Ideagram is doing that well in these, in these tests, but Flux Pro is doing really well. From a cost perspective, each Stable Diffusion 3.5 image is six and a half pennies, whereas Flux Pro is four pennies. So there is a, a cost difference between these. Ideagram is eight pennies a render. Okay, so can I keep that in mind. This is Solar de Luni in Bolivia. All right, Stable Diffusion. Got some weird look. If it weren't for the weird teeth right here, I would give this a home run. This looks great. The, the tie just pops. Flux Pro, he kind of, if you were to swap his face out with Kim Jong-un, I think it would be a spitting image. I don't think Trump is this heavy. Uh, it really puts some pounds on the guy. And his face just looks a little too plasticky. So I don't know. If it weren't for these teeth up here, it put the little cursor over the teeth, I think the, the top one would be the winner. Here's Ideagram 2. I don't even know. Like, it's just not doing it. Now, just to be fair, Ideagram 2 does great at text. It, it does really crisp text, much better than um, Flux Pro or Stable Diffusion. So definitely uh, test it out with your use case. This is Greece. I can't pronounce where it is. Stable Diffusion. Looks like a good photo. And if the smirk looks weird, hey, that's just the name of the game. You can fix that with the prompt. But uh, it's a great photo. It's got shadows. You can see a reflection of the sun on his jacket. It looks great. Absolutely great photo. This is, oh man, they're both realistic looking. This is crazy realistic. Wow. It just looks real right there. I, but I think Trump doesn't look as real in this particular photo as in this photo. But uh, they both look very realistic though with the shadows cast from the sun. Man. I'd swear you were actually there. This is Donald Trump from maybe 30 years ago or something. I don't know. It does not look like him. Ideagram's not winning any, any of the, <laughs> the battles so far. I think it's a toss-up between both of these. I, I like them both. All right, let's go to the next one. Taj Mahal. This looks perfect. We have other people here. You zoom in, you can tell there's some stuff that's messed up, but it's hard to tell. Um, Looks like a real photo in the background. Uh, Trump looks like Trump. He even has some creases in his shirt. Wearing a little pin. Looks great. Okay. I don't know. It looks like a... It looks Again, it look, it's just too plasticky. It looks fake. Like you can see wrinkles and stuff here. But this Flux Pro, it just looks plasticky. All right, Ideagram. Now, there is a Flux realistic model, a realism model. I haven't tried that, but 
Yeah, that just doesn't look real. I'm going to say that ideogram is not good for rendering people. Now, this the Taj Mahal in the background, that is very detailed, very cool. Although it does look fake. It looks like one of those renders, like you're making a 3D render of a place. You're plopping down the trees or something. It does not look real. Maybe it's because of a lack of a blur, what do they call it, a, a boke, bokeh, B-O-K-E-H. There's like none of that here, but you get that here. You know, you get that nice blur, so you get the focal distance that's changing. Yeah. Okay. Stable Diffusion won that one. This is the Maldives. This is just, this does not look right. I don't know. It does look like the Maldives back here. I think it did a good render of the actual setting, but I don't think it did a good job on the president. It looks just weird. This one's still plasticky, but I think it looks, if you were to squint a little bit, it looks real. It looks like a real photo. I'll, I'll give Flux Pro the win on that one. This, I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> Look at that thumb. All right. Ideagram is really struggling here. Is that it? Is that all we got? I think that's all we got. Okay. So that's my review of these different models. I would recommend using either Stable Diffusion or Flux Pro. I think they're both winners. Although if you want close-ups of people, you might get more of a plasticky vibe from, Sta uh, from Flux Pro, but you might get some weird lighting conditions from Stable Diffusion. That's my opinion. Drop a comment if you, if you have any other thoughts. Again, all of these models are available in my AI Writer, Zim Writer. It's available. There's a link down below. Check out the Facebook group. we got 13,000 members. Other than that, hey, good luck with your image generation, your content generation, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.